now we're gonna take a regular size craft sticks and we're gonna take and glue them together like so. So I've got four here. So what I'm gonna do is put two together like this. So I've got four regular size craft sticks and I glue two of them together and then I have two of these that are doubled up. That's exactly what I'm looking for next. Okay, so I put four popsicles, four popsicle sticks together and I glued them together. I doubled them up. So I have two of these things now. So now I'm going to take this thing right here and I'm going to run a bead of glue along this and I'm going to use a whole bunch. Okay, and then I'm going to take this and I don't want it to put it flat on there. I want to put it sideways so it juts out. And I'm just going to put that right there like that. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to put a bunch of glue right here. Okay. And I'm going to take this. And I'm just going to stick it on right there. You want to make sure that this is all even up here, okay? So let's take a look at that. So I sort of have these sides now that jut out, okay? That's a good thing. That's what we're looking for. I'm going to make the crossbow part of my ballista and I'm just going to just sit here for a minute and kind of bend it like this a little bit. Now you want to be careful because you don't want to break it. So you can get where you kind of bend it like this after a few minutes and it'll start to have a curvature to it. Which is good. That's a good thing. Now I would imagine the longer you do this the better of a curve you'll have. So maybe just take a minute or two and hold it like that so you have a little bit of a curve to it. Okay, so I've got one of my thicker rubber bands and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut it. Okay? So I have my bow part here that I've been working on and kind of bending like this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the curve things right here and I'm gonna see how it bows up like that that's good what I'm going to do is take one end of this rubber band and watch what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna I'm gonna put a big old dot right here and you know what I might do I'm gonna get a popsicle stick here and you see see how I've got that big dot of glue I'm just gonna take this an extra popsicle stick and just push it down into that dot just like that okay so I've pushed one end of that glue into there, into that dot. And then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some glue on top of it. So I sort of, I've got the rubber band trapped in glue. And I might even paint it with the, the stick here and trap the little rubber band in into the glue. Then what you want to do is you want to take one of your smaller rubber bands and while the glue is still kind of warm you want to wrap around that little puddle of glue that you just made and get it as tight as you can okay and then just give it a little smash and if it's a little hot I'm sorry just be careful don't burn yourself okay that looks pretty good so I'm going to take this other side I'm going to do the same thing. Again, you want it to be on the side that bows up, okay? Because when it launches, you want it to be bowing this way, okay? You don't want it to be the other way, okay? You want it to kind of bow that way. Now, what I'm going to do is the other side. I'm just going to take put a little dot right here. Don't be stingy. 
I'm gonna get an extra popsicle stick here and then I'm just gonna push it into the glue blob like that. So I push the end in there. Now I'm gonna cover it up and I'm just gonna spread the glue out and encase the little rubber band in in the glue. Then I'm gonna get one of my thin rubber bands and while the glue is still sticky, I'm gonna try to wrap it around there as tight as I can. Okay. Now you've got this. Okay. Now that shouldn't go anywhere like it is, but you know what? I'm gonna take it a step further and I'm gonna take two small pieces of masking tape like this and this and I'm just gonna line it up there see what I'm doing I'm taking it and I'm just gonna put it right here just to be safe and I'm gonna put it onto there and again if the glue's a little warm that's good that is a good thing so I'm gonna flip over and I'm gonna cover this side up too okay so now what I have is I have, and if it's not bowing anymore, just give it a little, little bend like that. And you should have something like this now. Okay. Okay, we're going to glue some legs on this bad boy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some beads of glue right here. And here. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one of my popsicle stick halves and I'm just going to glue that like so. So I got a little leg right here. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Put some glue here and here. And then that's going to be my other little leg. And I'm going to make sure that it's nice and even with the little roof there. Okay? So then you should have two little legs here. And you see what I did? I made them a little bit uneven. And that's okay. I'll just slide it back while the glue's still hot. So, see. Now, if you want, you can go under here, put a little bead of glue under there. Okay? So you should have some legs on there now. All right, we're looking good. So now that I've got my legs on there, I need to think about putting the bow on. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna kinda glue the bow right about here, okay? So you wanna keep this little area clear. You see this little area right here? This little area right here is where the popsicle stick is going to come out. It's going to actually fly out. So it's important that you don't block that. You want to glue this on right underneath of it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure not to put any glue right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a big old glob right here. And then I want to just kind of take my little bow here and just squish it on right there. Okay? See how I did that? Now notice how I'm keeping this little channel clear. Because we want to keep that channel clear because that's where the projectile or the popsicle stick will fly out of there. And if you have any little glue strings in there just pick them out. I'll pick that out real quick. So, I got my bow. I got my legs here. It's looking pretty good. Give that a minute to dry before you start to play with it, okay? So, let's talk about loading this thing. I'm going to put this right here. I've got the clothes pin holding that down. So I'm going to put my popsicle stick in here. Now it should, when you push it down, should launch it out just like that. 
Now, <clears throat> something that you can do if you don't feel like it has enough resistance is you can wrap, you can take what you have right here and wrap it around and make it a little bit tighter. Okay, so I might try to do that. I might try to wrap it a couple of times to get just a little bit more tension on there. But now it's too much, okay. All right, that's pretty good. So what I did is I, I wrapped it around to give it a little bit more tension there. Okay, let's get this thing loaded. So I'm gonna take my rubber band and I'm gonna push up here, put my clothespin, is gonna catch that, and hold it. I'm gonna take my popsicle stick and I'm gonna push it into the chamber here, okay? Now when I release, this is gonna shoot that out of there, okay? So I'll do a side view for you. I'm gonna hold that under there, I push up and I let down, and I even kind of have to push that down a little bit. And I'm gonna slide my ammunition in, and then you push down and it pushes it out. Now, you might notice that your launch might not be the best that you want it to be. Now you'll notice that my rubber band is quite long. Now you can take and wrap this around like this and this will give you just a little bit more attention. Okay, so that might help launch it farther. Okay, see how that made a difference? So all I did is you see how my little uh, rubber band comes off here? So it's pretty loose. All I did was I took and I wrapped that around like that. And I did the same thing to the other side. And that gives you just a little bit more tension. So when you go to shoot and load your ammo in, it might just go just a little bit farther. Now, you'll have to find a sweet spot. If you have too much tension, then this won't hold it down. Okay, so you have to watch out for that. You can always play around with the length of this too. Okay, pushing it forward, pulling it back. So what I'm noticing now is if I pull it back, it's going to be down a little bit more. So I've pulled this back just a little bit and I've noticed that it's a little bit flatter here. So now I can really ratchet up my tension and wrap it one more time. Now, you'll see how, see how I slid it back and it's holding down nicely. I can push this under here and it sticks. And I got a whole lot more tension on my rubber band. Okay, so let's see if we can fire that now. So, I'm gonna load this in. All right. I got this loaded in, and it's got a whole lot of tension on it now. Let's see how far this bad boy fires. That's pretty far. Went all the way over to that table. Here's another extra thing you can do, is you can put a little bit of tape right here on your rubber band and this will help hold it into the notch right here on the clothespin and it might also help uh, when propelling the popsicle stick forward you'll have more to push so that's another little extra you can do is add some tape right here